Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So if you haven't already, check the link below and follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comment love below and also share out this stuff on social media, retweet things because it really gets all the information out there and helps with the YouTube algorithm. With that said, let's hop right into it. So this is the intro video for part one, which is gonna be our web3.py basics. This is part of the decentralized application blockchain hacking course, part two, which is all gonna be Python based and a continuation of the old smart contract hacking course that got into all the vulnerability stuff. So the first logical starting point, since this is a Python based course, is to get into the web3.py library, interact with the blockchain, understand how things work, understand how contract interactions work, understand how network interactions work. So what we're gonna do is create some templates that get our connections to the blockchain. And then we wanna start interacting with contracts. So we're gonna interact with simple contracts such as ERC-20s and talk on chain with those contracts to pull back data. So we understand how to interact with them at a very simple level with Python and the functions that are available to us, as well as some formatting stuff in Python. Then we're gonna interact with wallets on chain, understand how to pull balances, etc. Start learning how to manually sign and send transactions on the blockchain. And then we want to start interacting with our old bank contract from the first course. So it's going to be a little more comprehensive because we're going to have to use our signing and send you know, stuff to these functions and the data to these functions and withdraw and send and look for issues within the smart contract which then we're gonna look for those issues and exploit very, very simple logic flaws just so you get the handle of using Python to do these things manually. That way you're able to then use automated tools and automated frameworks later and really understand what's going on, but be able to pull up the console, do it in Python when necessary when you have to do something custom. So understanding how to do all these things are your building blocks. Then we're gonna look at a little bit more complicated stuff with async IO programming in Python because things like events on the blockchain, you need to subscribe to those, but they took out the functionality to subscribe. So now you have to code it on your own with asynchronous functions. So we use async IO to do that, subscribe to events to get data from the blockchain when smart contracts are executing things and they post data. Then what we want to do is take a look at some decentralized exchanges and how to interact with those and the functions on those to grab data, maybe some stuff from liquidity pools, etc. And then very, very simple DAP development. Just understanding that a web page can have an interface with a backend that's the blockchain and maybe pulling some data from other sources. So understanding how to do all these things manually with Python and Web3.py is our first thing that we're gonna do. And I've coded all this stuff already. I'll be dropping videos over the next two weeks. Now, after that, we're also gonna start looking at network basics in web3.py. So we wanna understand the underlying network stuff and what's going on because a lot of the vulnerabilities, if you don't understand how the network works and how things function, the harder to find these vulnerabilities. So we're gonna create some connection templates for that. We're gonna pull back some blocks. We're gonna pull back some transactions. We're gonna to subscribe to the mempool, which again is gonna require us to write those asynchronous functions to subscribe to pending transactions. So we can do things like filter out certain things and monitor things of what's happening in those mempools. That way you can use these things for like front running transactions on games online or front running transactions on decentralized exchanges. If you don't understand how to monitor these things, you can't run those attacks or you can't understand how those attacks work. So we need to actually code these things to understand how they work with Python using web3.py and getting that deep understanding. Then we can look at some things like filtering and parsing, et cetera, but we'll get more into that stuff in the forensics, which is part three, where we're looking at historical data and parsing things out and DeFi attacks. So hopefully uh, you're going to learn something from this part one. And I'm going to start rolling out these videos and be taping the first couple right after I'm done posting this. And I have all the code ready, so we're good to go for part one. Once all of that is concluded, then I will start doing the part two stuff with the frameworks and start pushing those out. This is all going to happen over time, but I'm going to start dropping videos now for this. So I will catch you later. Thank you for subscribing, following, and please share this stuff out. Thank you.